Welcome day in. Right, happy Sunday. Weather update today it is ooh, it is um kind of foggy. It's overcast, raining. But still daylight and um yeah, it's a day. Yay! <laughs> um hello, good day. How are you? Um my name is Gilden. Um, this is my project pile number 27 and um, my project pile is all about weather because weather is interesting <laughs> no it is about yarn it is about knitting crocheting and other things related to it like what am I <sighs> words what I am doing uh, what I'm working on, what I've test on, anything I've completed, and my plans. Today will be mostly about plans because unfortunately this past week I have had a bit of a brain fog, so um, yeah. I was going to finish my glass of today, but today, this week, but I, I have mm, just did not have the brain power. Like, so simple, it's so simple, but eh was working um so yeah um mainly because you know work has been a bit uh, it's been a bit to do it at work we were doing the inventory on friday we usually do it at the end of november but we had to push it forward um this year because well there are health related issues in my um two of my co-workers they have to go Go, go away for uh, several weeks because of surgery, two of them, like the store manager and the my coworker who usually, um, I'm trying to think of a word, lay stuff, lay stuff, um, I had the word a moment ago. So, my store manager has to, has a surgery planned in... October can't remember when and then my co-worker who usually does her job when she is away um, she is going to, going to be seeing a doctor because of her shoulder and hopefully I really, really hope she gets like the surgery soon very soon because it's her shoulder and she's been struggling with it for years. I really, really hope she gets surgery. But that means, for that co it means minimum six to eight weeks of um, leave. And at least three months where she can't lift anything. And, you know, I work at the local grocery store. And uh, most of the day you are lifting a lot of heavy things. So we'll see how that goes, <laughs> but yeah, so mm, I wasn't going to be talking about work, like, ah, that takes up enough of my time, but this is why we had to do the inventory last Friday, because we can't quite have it on the usual day, which is why yesterday I, I tried to knit the sweater on, the first set sweater on the glass hook, but I had to rip everything out, like, it was, it, it's just a straight stitch, like, yeah, you have to add on, like, four stitches, like, two on each, each end, I managed to do the, the cast on, but for some reason, all these stitches here, like, I rip. I'm so thankful, I did not take this um, thread out, Thankfully, because I had to rip everything out that I did, because somehow I managed to make every single stitch, just every single stitch was just turned. It was just, it was so weird. Like, did not have the brain power to fix it, so I just ripped it back and just went, "Nah, I'm gonna play the Sims." <laughs> but yeah, at the very least, I mean, I finished the body, so. I did manage that, like, this was simple enough for me to finish. So, now I just need to struggle with 
figuring out what because I know that as soon as I I have the um, I know from experience that at some point this is just gonna click and I will know exactly what I am doing wrong and I, I will just finish it very very just bam just not today just um, not today but soon look at it that's so cute oh so happy with it and this sweater is gonna be so warm and cozy I'm not gonna put it on today because I actually put on makeup for today so I'm not gonna pull my make me pull over on but I can't wait as soon as my brain fog lifts I will find this so that's so that's the thing um as for the other two projects um like the um ooh, the latter scarf I did a little bit more like this is so simple this is literally I cannot puff this up like I literally just just raise this and then you pearl back then you so simple but look at how, what the colors look like I'm loving it and just look at the difference in what the um what the stitches look like like because this is the ice yarns right cakes chain um, the look what the thread looks like it looks like it's been what's it called chain spun and it's so soft it's so much fun to knit with and it makes the stitches look just a little bit different like because they're kind of like fluffy and they're just like my mom actually picked this up and was puzzling over it she was like what kind of stitch is that like what are you doing i'm like it's just straight it's just recklessness she's like are you sure it's gonna be so cool like i have finished oh where is my measurement I have everything set up and then I remember I need my tape measure. Typical, not so typical, but at least it was just a reach away. So, yeah. All right, so I have finished. Now, um, let's see, these are 16 centimeters, it's about six inches. In it? Yes, it's, let's see, okay, I'm just going to show you the tape because I am a metric using human being and I have no idea what the inches are. So it's 16 centimeters, is that the time I'm right? Wait. I have that upside down for you, that is so typical of me, excuse you. Oh, it's 16 and a bit. Six inches and a bit. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. Some days. But yeah, it is coming along. Um, I'm supposed to knit for like about 50 inches. Which I should be able to do that with this cake. 50 inches is... Inches. Where are you? Here we go. That is 127 centimeters or a meter 27. So, still a little bit to go, but this is this is a nice project to have to the side when you're like in a brain fog and you can't quite think. <sighs> now, as for the third project I am currently working on. I am more than halfway done! Ah! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! I am done with 54 centimeters! Um, the finished... Mm. So this is a cocoon cardigan, so that I, you know, hawk, instead of just bamming things into your face and not explaining myself. This is a cocoon cardigan. Um, 
try the thing. So essentially what you do is you cast on the next amount of stitches, right? Cast on, yes. No, you chain. Cast on when you knit, you chain when you crochet. Okay. You chain a certain amount of stitches. So you have like, I have a uh, meter and I think one or two centimeters. And then you make... You do the... Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. And the amount that you knit... Like... Words! Can I explain myself? There's a hair bothering me. I don't know how to wear makeup, it just always bothers me. Anyway, <sighs> words out, thank you. So, you crochet a rectangle so that the length that you chain originally is the same length that you end up with your, um, with your rounds. Yay, I got it done. So, I am more than halfway done with the chain, with the cocoon crochet. <sighs> words, cocoon cardigan. Chain crochet cocoon cardigan. Z z z z. Anyway. <sighs> so... Ah. Yay. so at least something is going well for me this week. Yay. So, um, but that does. Like I was expecting to need to use all four of the packages of this um this ice yarns. Um, winter sale yarn that is absolutely delight to use. They don't have it anymore, but I really like using it. So I had originally bought these four packages, like there are eight balls in each package, and I fully expected to need to use all four. I am more than halfway done, and I am not done with the second package. I have, like, after these two balls, I will have two left. So I will need less than three packages for this cardigan. That is so cool. Yay. So, oh, I should be able to like, oh. Well, obviously I'll need to find something else to do with the yarn, but that is so cool. I love it. So, um, yeah, nothing finished this, this week, but yeah, that's just, that's just power for the course, like. But I did start this morning because um, I'm trying to be organized. I'm trying so so hard. Like I reorganized my yarn so that in this um, I have a laundry hamper. <laughs> I have a laundry hamper in my room full of yarn, and I reorganize it with um, more like autumn themed colors and you know colored yarn. Um, because I really, really want to just keep going. I want to keep knitting and crocheting so I can... Honestly, so I can buy more yarn. <laughs> but this morning, um, it is currently uh, like 18 minutes past 11. Um, I did start in my notebook for... Like, this is everything knitting related, like... Um, in the first half, I have, I have like my notes for the um, the um, patterns that I have been using, like some of the, like stuff that I've been just making myself. I rewrote the um, simple crochet show. I need to make a tutorial on that. It's so simple. You you will definitely love it. Um, so that's in the. Right, is this type of book? Now I'm talking about journaling. Um, in this first half, I have all my patterns that I am um, have been working on, like the simple shawl scarves that I've been making. The I have your notes for um, the crop bolt neck sweater that I got off of Ravelry. Like I be boy boy. You can read my handwriting. I have notes on my like blankets that I've been making. I do need to add more notes. Um, in the se second half, I decided to make write where my what my plans are. So these are my plans for the sweaters. Like 
the patterns that I do have and the sweaters, sweaters, the yarn that I do have, like everything paired off and I have everything planned. So this is nice because as I said, I'm trying to be organized. Um, oh dear, my batteries are out and I just started going. So I'm gonna cut this short here and I'm gonna load my camera. Hi, back again. So it's been an hour and um, <laughs> this really should remind me to make sure that my camera, the battery is fully loaded before I start yapping on. <laughs> but at least I, you know, I had lunch and then I continued writing my notes, my plans. So because I, in case you haven't noticed, I have a lot of yarn and I, I do have for the most part, like, I have plans, I have ideas, I have rough shapes in the ether of my mind what I want to do with most of the yarn, but um, I want to be organized, so I've started on this plan. Uh, here are the names of the patterns that I do have and the yarn that I'm gonna use. And um, you know, I do feel a lot better with it because this means that I I have a foundation which to build my my empire of sweaters. <laughs> dramatic. We should be dramatic. It's a Sunday. So, um, right. I'm done talking about the things that I'm working on. Lord. Yeah. Okay. Great. <sighs> Plans. So, where, where, where do I start? yarn all right so i went to my stories yet yet again be just to like, like like have the yarn in front of me and just be able to think like fit. it's gonna sound weird but to think with physically like you have a thing and then you go like oh this thing so because uh, i have these absolutely wonderful um, these are the Women's Institute Soft and Smooth Tweet, and I got from Hobby Craft. Oh dear lord, how long ago? I think it's getting very dangerously close to being two years. <laughs> but, um, uh, maybe a year, maybe... Well, it's been a long time. But I do have these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful skeins. I have this... To show you in the pink, I have it in the mustard tweet. Okay, and then I have this marl, and I want these three together in a sweater, and I have. I have found a pattern that I want to use, but I also have like, are you the same? Yes. Oh, what up? So I also have these three that I haven't quite decided on a pattern for yet. But again, I want like a nice bulky sweater. Um, so this is biscuit. But decided to burst its um, label. So here we have cream. And we also have this gorgeous plum. Look at the color, I love it. So those three together, and then these three together. That's something that I decided ages ago, but I haven't decided on a pattern until now. So now I have a pattern for these three. That's it. I don't know how many times now. So these are on the planning board and that makes me so so happy. Uh, another thing is I also found a pattern for this lovely, lovely yarn. I have 16 balls of these. These 
are from Ice Yarn. These were a winter sale. And they are sold out in this, unfortunately, but... Eh. See, the thing is, I bought this well over a year ago. And this yarn... Look at it, look at it. It's this fussy, buckly kind of, like, yarn. And... You no, know, it was on sale. So I said, meh, I'm gonna try it. And then when I held it, it reminded me so much of a sweater that a childhood friend used to have. Like, it getting nature. It's it's about like, oh, over 20 years ago, yeah, to the year. But she had this, it was a little bit more grey. It comes out, mm, it's very black on the screen, but yeah. It was this kind of like flecky, uh, molly, I don't know what words I want to use, this kind of flecky like type but it was a bit more gray and it was i think it had a bit of a roll color and it was very white and a bit not too long on her but i just rem just this yarn remind me so much of that sweater and I'm, I'm like i want to try and remake that sweater because i used to absolutely love that sweater so you used to wear a lot. That was just her sweater for for years. So I have found a pattern for it. I found it on Ravelry. That makes me so happy. So it's probably a good thing that the battery died because then I actually sat down and just went through like on my favorites page. I just went through everything and just starting a pair of like patterns and yarn. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a pattern for this yarn. So this is from the summer sale from like last year and it's this, I think I can show you, it's cotton, polyamide, light maroon and it's super soft and it's this like tube type of yarn, it's strains, it's different and it's so super soft, I haven't found a pattern yet but this needs to be something that I can squish and cover myself in. I have also 16 skeins of this, so I will find something. Not like I don't have a thousand and one projects to do. But another... So for the unplanned things that I need to find a pattern for. Alright, this here is the from Hobium. It's their Cashmere Gold. I have this one packet of the, um, there's no name, it has a number, but it's this cream, cream color, um, it's new wool, cashmere and acrylic ups, so nice, so nice to touch, and I really want to clear this up with, like, make a pretty like traditional simple type of sweater but with this year ice yarns mohair in like a yoke pattern that would be i think that would be very very different and it would be kind of cool so it's this mohair phosphorus yellow i love it i have, don't think i have seen it on the ice yarns might be but it is simply, you know, it's just, it is 70% more hair and 30% acrylic. You should be able to see the label, right? And I want to use these two together, but I need to find a pattern. Or at the very least make one up. Like, we'll see what happens, but I will need these, those two together. Um, other plans, other plans. Well, in past videos I've told you about, like, the lower picture Lopa paste. You know what? I'm gonna show you. <laughs> it's the chaotic lopa paste that I want to make at the mode. This is on on the planning in the plan book. Oh you could just show you that. I'm going to make this sooner or later at some point, but it's on the plans. I also want to make this one. Because it's really simple and pretty. Um, I want to, and I am planning to, 
make this out of silk mohair. The, um, where is it? Oh. Think, you think you're planned. Think you're prepared. But then you like remember one one other thing. <laughs> these three. I'm gonna use these three the silk mohair. And make that lovely lovely cardigan. Jolting you. Battery is really, really slow. As soon as I'm done filming this, I'm gonna let the camera just fully load. <laughs> Takes a bit of time. Uh, um, let's see. Another one that I want to make is this here from Silk Mohair. Um, this is going to take three skeins or balls. It's a bit different. Like I look. There's this one. Absolutely gorgeous, thick and wonderful, and looks like warm. This one takes 16 balls of silk mohair. That's a lot! Plus it's 3mm knitting needles. That's gonna take a while, like, Eric. This one, I want to make this one, because I have yarn to make this one. And I want to make it... See, I have, I have, I have two options. I have these three wonderful, wonderful, like, Sea foamy type of color. Just look at that color. And just. Oh, I love it. And the other option that I also for two is to have three skeins of is this. More darker blue, but it has more of like these flecks of kind of purpley, kind of yellowy. It's a bit of white also in it. Like. <clears throat> it's such juicy yarn. So I can make that sweater. I could make it twice if I like the pattern. We'll see. Whew. Almost done with the planning. And another, yet another sweater that I've been meaning to make for a long time. It is this year. So pretty simple knitted uh, cardigan. And um, it used. I mean, the pattern calls for silk mohair, but when I got this magazine, I um, didn't have any silk mohair. So, but I did have this, you know, hobby crafts, knit craft, get your fluff on in the gray. I have six balls of these, and I have taken two, you know, just taken two threads, rolled them together in a ball, and I'm gonna knit with it like this. And this one sweater is so simple. You, it's basically like that. Um, the boxy sweater that I made just months ago. <laughs> um, the two that I have made. This is absolutely wonderful. Oh, so simple. Um, it is this. You know, you knit the front part, two parts. You knit back part, and you knit the sleeves, and it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So simple. And I absolutely love it. So yay. The battery is dying so fast. This is so weird. I thought I would have more time. Um, because I made an order. So I'm gonna rip through it because I am now terrified of the battery. That is just going to die. Um, let's see. Because I didn't let the camera load itself pr properly, so now it's getting revenge on me. But yeah, um, I did not expect this package to be this big. I kind of expect it to be just like, you know, regular size, cute, cute little thing. Because I ordered... I want... Right. And the TV is starting again. Nice. Um. Anyway, so... Because I want to make glass hook, not just from the ice yarns, um, uh, 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 chunky merino. merino, yes, it is. Um, I also want to make it out of the Drops Melody. And because 
the store that I'm ordering from also had these um, lace blocking wire kit, if you can see it through. Um, I'm not going to take it up now because the battery is terrifying me and I want to get this over and done with, but I did get... Air or drush melody. Uh oh. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway. Or these colors. I think they look cute. So I think I was going to have them like this. So it's more in my style of like more muted but still like. Muted but colorful. That makes sense to me, so hey. And they're pretty, they're so pretty. Yeah. So once when I figure out how I'm gonna do the sleeve, I will be done with that sweater and then I can start on something else because Lord knows I need to have more than, at least to have, apparently I need to have at least 10 projects on the go at any given time, so. So, that is my project pile and my project pile to be my plan book. Um, I need to go tidy up my room again because I always manage to make a mess. Yay! But yeah, so, I'm very, very happy that I do have like these plans to just go to for when I'm like, I want to get started on something, I'm like, oh, what do I want? What do I want to make? What do I want to make? Like, I have a plan. So yeah, uh, I have a plan, I haven't made a mess, yay. But as I said, the, the battery keeps going down and it's terrifying me, so I'm going to call it good for now. Um, hopefully you had fun watching this. Oh, I hope so, I hope so. Um, also, thank you to those of you who have subscribed. That makes me so, so happy. Oh, it's been so much fun. And your comments, like, guys, your comments, they seriously brighten up my day. It's so much, like, I'm not kidding. When I'm at work, I keep, you know, like, I go to, like, my coffee breaks and lunch. Anytime I can go sneak off to my, my, my copy, or whatever you call it in English, um, Whenever I can check my phone, I do, just to see if someone has left a comment. Like, I don't have that many comments, but every single comment is just... I love it. So yes, thank you very, 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 very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bless, bless.